Gotta look like he do some bribing. Yeah, the Consul General, Ryan Ugzor, Ugar. Yeah, he looked like he do some shady business. <laughs> and here's how much Eric Adams and his highest paid lieutenants willed from the power of the city hall. Uh, the first deputy mayor, $275,000. If there's anyone in the chat that makes over $275,000 just off their salary, put a one. Uh, Philip Banks, not the Philip Banks, but Philip Banks, deputy mayor for public safety, $251,000. If you make over $251,982, put a two in the chat. Ingrid Lewis Martin, chief advisor to the mayor. If you make over $251,982, put a two in the chat. The chief of council to the mayor, 251. Now, how much does the mayor make? That's what we want to know. It's like 275, ain't it? See, these motherfuckers is getting some money, though. But 275 is like what? 275 is probably the, shit. You go to Kansas City, that's almost half a million. <laughs> Damn. All right, we're going to keep this up here because we're going to go through the, uh, the people that have been rated and we're going to look at their salaries and see what the hell they actually been doing because uh, it's getting ugly out here. Uh, okay, let me see. We got the video. Downloads. Timeline. Here we go. So here's a video of all the people that are involved in what's going on. Mayor Eric Adams indicted by a federal grand jury on criminal charges, charges that are still sealed tonight as this story broke within the last hour. Fox 5's Kendall Green in the newsroom with more on how we got to this moment, Kendall. Hey, good evening, Steve Natasha. As you know, uh, a lot has happened in the recent days, months, weeks. Several members of the Adams administration having their homes searched and devices seized. And tracking the investigation, of course, means tracking who is being investigated. Let's take a closer look. David Banks' unexpected retirement as New York City Schools Chancellor. Retirement as New York City. David Banks. David Banks. Philip Banks. Is this his son? Let's see where David Banks is. Oh, they ain't got David Banks' name on here. We don't know how much David Banks made, but he stepped down as the school chancellor. Education chancellor. All right, who else they got on there? City schools chancellor at the end of retirement as New York City schools chancellor at the end of the school year continues the resignations of Mayor Eric Adams' close circle. Oh, so that is his son? Jeez. So they getting at least, let's just say they getting at least a half a million between pops and son. Now, this little motherfucker right here, don't let this little sweet face right here fool you. The little hazel eyes. This, I'm, a, I'm not going to say it because she hasn't been found guilty yet, but this B right here, this B crooked too. This is a dirty individual too. ...who are under FBI investigations. Some political analysts say a lot of eyes on City Hall as of late have less to do with policy and more with who's next. Well, the optics are awful. David Shapiro is director of the Inspection and Oversight Program at John Jay College. Uh, I, I haven't seen a case where so many investigations are swirling around the orbit of one individual in the name of the mayor on september 4th federal investigators raided the harlem home david banks shares with his partner first deputy mayor sheena wright i told you sheena wright i've seen her face before let's see what so david banks and sheena wright so philip banks is a son sheena wright deputy mayor for strategic incentives Oh, initiatives, my bad. <laughs> 251, and the sun is getting to golly, they getting 700. Damn, they getting 750 between the three of them. And they got to do this crooked shit. Just do a hey, be legit. 
Sheena Wright. 251. Damn. I'm in the wrong field, man. I can be the chief of efficiency officer or the chief housing officer. I could be something. Chief technology officer, man. Shit. Get me a job. Damn. Chief of staff to the deputy mayor for public safety. Like, yeah, damn, 200000 for nothing. Deputy chief, deputy chief of staff to the, how many deputy chiefs we need? Let me get one of them for 200 Ah, damn, I need to get into politics. Goddamn government. Their electronic devices were also electronic devices were also seized. Wright was appointed by Adams in 2023. Raids were conducted at the home of Philip Banks the third, the chancellor's brother and current deputy mayor for public. Also, he's the brother. He's not the he's not the son. He's the brother to the chancellor. So two brothers making five hundred thousand dollars. The the wife is making two fifty. So that's seven fifty amongst his family. Man, they could start eating public safety. And the home of former NYPD officer Tim Pearson. Pearson is a senior public safety advisor. Tim Pearson. All right. Tim Pearson, public safety advisor. Tim Pearson. Tim Pearson. Oh, he's former, so he ain't going to be on this list. But he's safety, so public safety. A deputy to the mayor of public safety. He is getting at least 200. There ain't no one making under 200. They don't know what 199 is. Everybody, look, give, give me 200 and 1,000. It's going to be over 100. Damn, boy. I need to move to New York and get into some of this action. Investigations of Adam's circle began sir. Investigations of Adam's circle began last November with federal agents searched the home of Adam's chief fundraiser, Brianna Suggs, as a part of a probe into campaign donations with possible. Oh, Brianna Suggs. I hate to say it, but you look like a crook. You look like you steal. You look like one of them Black Lives Matters women that was stealing all that money and buying houses. Damn, this is worse than the PPP loan, man. They busting these niggas head. They the thing is, they had legitimate money. I would have been the only legitimate nigga on there. They would have been doing all they dirt. I would have been going to work and just doing my job. I'm not cutting no, uh, everybody cut some corners, but I'm not taking no bribes or doing no bullshit. I'm not just going to sign off on something. Hell no. Nah. Nigga, don't ever text me about none of this shit. I'd be the only motherfucker that still got my job. And after all this goes down and they make me step down, I'm suing the city of New York for at least $10 million. So at the end, I'm coming out with a dub. Like, there's no way I'm ever going to get to the point where I'm making 200 something thousand dollars and I'm about to be doing illegal shit. I make around like 115 now, and all I do is go to work and come home. You know what I mean? <laughs> I come home and I chill and I take my trips. I don't do nothing illegal, and I'm not making no 200. If I'm making 200 shit, I probably wouldn't even be doing YouTube no more. I'd probably be going to work, coming home, and going to sleep and not giving a shit. But these niggas work this hard get this far get put on and then they start doing foul shit like dog y'all make enough money to afford these trips man you can man you in new york man a trip from new york to london is only like seven hundred dollars you can upgrade the business class for another six thirteen hundred dollar trip go over there man i'm going to london on the 12th i'm gonna be over there for four days i'm gonna go to the football game get the nfl experience i'm probably gonna spend about fifteen hundred dollars for four days man come on man these Negroes. I'm sure they getting some housing too. I'm sure they getting some housing too. They ain't just getting this salary. They getting paid. They getting some. Come, you better believe that. Double ties to the Turkish government. New York City Sheriff Anthony Miranda and his office are being investigated over money confiscated from illegal pot shops. Oh. Oh my goodness. So, all right, guys. We got us a real life power universe. So everything we watching with crooked ass James St. Patrick, Rashad Tate, Tariq St. Patrick, Don Carter, this guy, they would go and steal. Well, they wouldn't steal. They would legally go into illegal weed shops, confiscate the money, but keep the money. They would never turn it in. They were just taking the money. Dog. 
You're a fucking police commissioner. You you probably making about 200 something too. Why do you need to do this? You already know what's coming next. They don't do the white folk like this. Oh, they do the white folk like this too. They do everybody like this. The feds don't discriminate. Now, maybe state cases they do, but when the feds drop that hammer, the feds are dropping that hammer on everybody. Niggas, man. In February, investigators searched the homes of Winnie Greco. Greco is the director of Asian Affairs. Former police commissioner Edward Caban resigned two weeks ago after his home was raided by the feds as well. His replacement, Interim Police Commissioner Tom Donlin, who says the FBI also searched his home soon after he was named. And now comes word the mayor has been indicted, to which Shapiro reminds us, while the optics may be bad, people are innocent until proven guilty. Because our system is based on the rule of law, which protects individuals from hasty judgments. Now, calls for the mayor to resign were growing louder even before we got word of this indictment against the mayor. Now, just yesterday, he said he would not be stepping down again, and this indictment does not remain sealed, and we do not know what the charges may be. So this was three weeks ago when this one dropped, but that's pretty much the crew right there. Everybody's been raided. Everyone's getting investigated. Cell phones are turned over, emails, everything. They might have cash in these houses. It ain't no telling how deep this is going to go. Now, also, we know that Diddy is in New York City. Diddy also got the key to the city from who? Eric Adams. So if there was some dirty stuff going down, Diddy is probably more than likely tied into this. So when they start uncovering all of this, we're going to see who knows who, who's been partying with who. It's about to be a shit show in New York. And you know, everybody says, they don't do the white folk like this. Man, do y'all not know? They just told Trump, like, hey, you're done in New York City. They do everybody like this. When the feds get their shit together, they'll be on you. That tax evasion and all that, yeah, yeah, there's no stopping that. You got postponed, but he's going to have to pay that money back to New York City. He ain't going to be able to do business in New York City for five years. More than likely going to get some jail time. So they, this ain't no race thing. This right here is a green thing. And that green comes with the word greed. There's two G's, green and greed. They go hand in hand. And when you get greedy for someone that green, guess what? They going to get your ass. Yeah, they going to get your ass. They going to throw you on in there. All right, but we're going to go through the timeline now and see what else. He did. Eric Adams did come out and speak on it. He is presumed innocent. You know what I'm saying? Till he has his day in court. But man, we ain't. I, I I'm not saying he's guilty, but the nigga's guilty. So <laughs> did I see uh Mo Phillip Banks the third? The, the nigga's name ain't no Mo, is it? He can't be no Mo. No, his name just Phillip Banks. I ain't, it ain't his name ain't Mo, is it? Phillip Banks. Deputy Mayor for Public Safety Philip Banks is not only making bank, but he is also scoring frequent sit downs with top NYPD brass, even if they sometimes exclude the police commissioner. Oh, so he was going around all of them. Damn. The cost of living in NY. Let me see what the cost of living in NY is. What is the cost of living in NYC? Oh, the average monthly cost is only $4,000, man. Come on, man. That ain't bad. That's it? $4,000? $4, $4,100? Oh, you still got... 
if you living off of four thousand a month just for housing, you still got two hundred thousand a year. That's, that's it. You still got two hundred thousand. If you pay fifty thousand a year in rent in New York City, you still got two hundred thousand. Two hundred one. Divide that by twelve. It's still sixteen thousand dollars a month. If you can't live off of sixteen thousand a month, then there's something wrong with you. That ain't. I don't want to hear it is it, expensive in New York. If you can't live off sixteen thousand, you need to reevaluate your life. You need to cut back on some of your expenses. Even if you lived in, let's say you spent seventy thousand a year. That's still one eighty one. That's still fifteen thousand dollars a month. If you can't live off of fifteen thousand dollars a month, that is a you problem. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing. Shit, you better make some investments. Hell, the mayor, he living in the mansion. He living in the mayor's mansion. So I'm he ain't paying no rent. He living free. And we don't even know how much the mayor was making, how much the mayor out was making. Two fifty-eight, Mary Adams. Two fifty-eight. So he only makes six thousand more than his the fucking deputy mayors. Hey, if I'm the mayor, I need to be making at least twenty thousand dollars more than the deputy mayor. I need to be making two fifty-eight. Let's cut their salary down to like two ten now. They don't need to be close to what I'm making. They don't need to be making six thousand. If I'm the mayor, I need to be making more than that. What's that? Six thousand dollars, twelve months. What's that? Three hundred dollars. Uh, man, hell no. I need to be making a little more than that now. Two fifty eight for the mayor. 